one day after our You Ask 6 Investigates report on multiple gas leaks at Lonsdale Elementary School, another gas leak happening today. A representative from the school system sending out a message to parents. Take a listen. Dear Lonsdale families, this is Corley Harrington, Director of Public Affairs for Knox County Schools. As our maintenance staff followed up yesterday afternoon on the situation at your school, another leak was found. While we have been working to repair this leak, we have made the decision out of an abundance of caution and safety for our students and staff to close school today and make sure everything has been corrected. No words yet on the cause of this latest leak. We told you last night that parents were notified of a gas leak happening in the back kitchen area on Tuesday and that this followed an incident back in November when firefighters found carbon monoxide levels as high as 160 parts per million. The normal range is 50 or less. Now that was actually from the school's boiler, which had recently passed a state inspection. From our perspective, Lonsdale is a safe school. The, the age of a building, I mean, there are buildings all over this country that are hundreds of years old and are used every day. The age of a building and, and how safe it is and, and how functional it is for you comes down to how you maintain it and how you repair it. Oaks call the kitchen leak very small, puts the blame on a part connecting an oven to natural gas, not the building's age. And since that CO release last November, Oaks says the district has installed now CO detectors and alarms at Lonsdale. Lonsdale is the 15th oldest building, by the way, owned by Knox County Schools and one of five schools that has not seen a renovation or addition since the 1950s.